After hours and hours with workers in the resources Soviet Republic, uh, I've uh, learned a few things with regards to factory connections, and while this might look cool, it's super inefficient. So uh, in today's episode, we'll look a little bit at how, uh, what not to do when uh, using factory connections. Hi guys, I'm Exact Chaos, and welcome back to another episode of Workers and Resources Soviet Republic. Um, in today's episode, uh, we'll continue our gameplay, of course, but I will also talk a little bit about, uh, more about factory connections. I think I've got um, a, f a better understanding now, something that I didn't have and it took me ages to, to get there. Uh, just while we're at it, look at, the, look at this. Look how our uh, forklifts carry cows. Four cows at a time. <laughs> I have to love it. I have to love it. Uh, anyway, so let's talk a little bit about factory connections. So um, when... When I started looking at factory connections for the first time, I thought ultimately I would like to build massive factory complexes and connect them all up. But really, that's super inefficient, super, super inefficient. And we, uh, we know that by just how poorly um, our meat production has gone from this complex over here. Look how empty these guys are. We hardly moving any cows. And so the reason for that is forklifts carry so little at a time. If we uh, click on this forklift over here, we can see it carries like max two tons of something. 1.8 tons is a max for things like steel and so on. Meat, it can only carry a half a ton. Uh, cows or livestock cows. Cows, it can only carry just about half a ton of, uh, of livestock and 1.4 tons of crops. Now, so if we look at that and then if on the other hand, we look at um, a livestock farm. See, no resourcing missing, uh, missing crops. So this guy creates five tons of livestock per day from 10 tons of crops. So that means a fair bit of this stuff actually needs to be moved here all the time in order to get this thing to, to continue going. Now it's operating. It's just uh, uh, like 1.4 tons of crops has arrived. And as you can see, uh, way before the next vehicle arrives, this thing will have run out. And that's why it's inefficient. There we go. We've run out. We've created 0.7 tons of livestock and that's it. Now we're all, all of these 36 workers are sitting idling, um, reading a magazine, a glorious Soviet magazine. And, uh, and that, there goes our, our livestock back to the, uh, probably the livestock hall or range, but really very inefficient. So we're not, we're not doing what we should be doing. So that is um, one of the things where you should keep an eye on. Uh, the, 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 the volume of goods that you would need because you wouldn't want to move it with factory connections like this. Now, if we go to something where, let's say the rail, the rail manufacturing yard or something like that. So this one requires very low numbers of plastics, for instance. Oh, and fabric, look at that. The fabric is super low. Um, for these... And, and, and the production time is, is very long. So for these, I would imagine um, a factory connections should be working really effectively. So what you would do, and we'll, we'll get to some of the other things is, so for these, the lower volume, so electronic components over here, and the plastics and the fabrics, that would work fairly well with factory connections. I can see even the um, mechanical components in this instance wouldn't, wouldn't be too bad, uh, wouldn't work too badly. Now, if we come in over here again, the fa manufacturing time here is, is, is fairly quick, but still the volumes are so low, you'll be able to move um, everything you need here pretty easily and effectively with, uh, with these guys. So that's, that's a, another one. So these production lines seems to be a good one for us to be able to use factory connections. Now we are using factory connections, but the direct factory connections. We'll talk about that in just a minute. If we quickly fly on over to our airplane it is an airplane production line, right? Fly through the clouds, here we get it. Similarly so, low volume, slow production. Electronic components, plastics, fabrics, electronics, even mechanical components and aluminum and even steel. Um, slow going, slow going. So we can easily use factory connections over here. So that is the model of the story. If you want to use complex factory connections, make sure to always um, you do it on the lower volume things like production lines where it takes ages to build something. Uh, where it is quick and effective, let's have a quick look over here. 
I mean, I don't think we've got chemicals coming in at a pretty low pace over here, to be honest. What is this? Why is this production? Oh, we're out of aluminum oxide. Um, anyway, so it's so that 2.5 times. So this should give you give, uh, be a good giveaway. So if you're looking at your maximum um, production and consumption per day, if it's a 52 ton of aluminum oxide and 2.5 tons of chemicals, you can probably get away using the chemicals in uh, factory connections with forklifts. Okay, now... Let's talk a little bit about the other application of factory connections in which we've started using it more so. And that is basically to extend your, uh, your storage space. So if we look at this commercial building over here, which is basically a shop, it's got so little storage capacity. It's got very, very limited storage capacity. It's got like, I don't know, 15 tons, is it? Is it even 15 tons? It's even less than that. It's like 10 tons. And um, and so in these kind of situations, it might be absolutely worth it for us to start moving um, a little bit more other things around. Well, let's have a look here. We don't have food here, do we? We're running out of food. Um, and so it's just basically an extension of the storage. Um, so in that case, you don't actually run forklifts and this is effectively an unlimited volume move, I believe. So. Um, so that's the that's the other the other use for it. So where you're using high volume um, turnaround, like in the meat production or the production of livestock or in the production of food, let's quickly come down. Uh, ooh, not here. Where am I? Oh, I'm in. <laughs> where am I? Uh, let's move over here to um, Ultima Grad. So if we're looking over here, high volume production like this, okay, like meat production, we can we can create massive amounts of meat. The reason we're not producing more meat is because our storage is full, but um, we can produce massive amounts of meat um, from livestock if we have massive amounts of livestock. So this one, you really don't want to move this with, fa uh, with forklifts. The factory connection directly into the, uh, into the various storage facilities is the way to go over here. Uh, let's have another, another look over here at our plastics factory. So for the plastics factory, hmm, probably getting a little high here for for the um the 10 tons of chemicals probably getting a little high we could probably give it a go but i think that's getting a little bit higher um and then if we open up this one the gravel well you wouldn't move gravel with a uh, with that uh, but these volumes are low so you should be able to use factory connections with forklifts just in general for for this setup over here okay now um, so, in general, what we would do, high volume, direct connections to, um, to your storages, to your factory to your storage. And uh, I might also add that it's probably good practice that if you're do, using real high volumes of something, yet that you do dedicated storage, um, that you don't do anything else. So, uh, like, like over here, well, try and do dedicated storages. Dedicated storages helps a hell of a lot. Okay, now, um, the other alternatives that we have and what we're also using over here is it's probably good practice to start using um, distribution offices. So instead of um, connecting everything with factory connections, you just connect your factories and your storages with warehouses and you use distribution offices to, to move things around. So in the case of the, our plastic production, we're getting the distribution office to go over here to... Uh, the, um, to the chemical factory to come and pick up chemicals and then bring the chemicals around. So let's drop in here again. So 10 tons of chemicals um, per day, it means that one truck, basically one truck, maybe two trucks need to do one trip a day um, to go and get some chemicals over here and bring it back. So that's going to be quite effective. We don't necessarily need the direct factory connection, um, but the road distribution would work fairly well. So um, try and make use of distribution offices to fulfill um, your uh, distribution needs, so to, to bring in the, the, the goods that you need, especially if they're kind of medium volume. If they are, and if they are high volume, if you need to bring in a ton of stuff, let's make a make our way over here. So if you need to bring in a ton of stuff, let's quickly say, um, like over here, right? We're actually moving a lot of it with uh, with the road here. Yeah, but that's like 10 tons, but you need a lot. You need to scale that a lot. So if, you, if you're 
generally moving a lot of stuff. So actually, it's probably good to, to say over here. So if we're moving a lot of crops, 62 tons of crops per day to create a lot of food, it's probably good to move that with, with the rail directly into a storage so that you, and, and you can also use the rail for storage. So a bit of a, a buffer, buffer, buffer situation over here. So, um, so we're not really putting the crops in here, just a little bit of crops. We're really using the train to store crops and we don't have a train ready to go here. So we should have a crop train arriving soon. So the crop train is bringing in crops. It should store out here until it's empty and then it'll, um, and then it'll uh, uh, move along and get that done. So um, in summary, low volume per day, um, factory connections with forklifts medium volume per day, um, direct factory connections to a storage facility um, or moving it with a distribution office via road and then high volume um, items like this where you're needing 62 tons of crops per day, that's really rail movement. You need to move that in with rail. You can use um, shipping as well. Shipping will also work if you, can, um, if you have enough ships and you can move them quick enough. But the really high volume stuff um, you use rail in combination with direct storage connected with, uh, well, direct connected storage with a factory connection. So it's really adjacent or, or connected storage. So that is uh, my two cents worth on what I've learned with regards to factory connections. I've, I hope that helps you in your gameplay. And if it does, please hit that like button. Leave a comment down below. Tell me if, you, uh, if there's anything else that uh, you would like a little bit of advice on. And I'll, I'll, I'll endeavor to, uh, to tell you what I've learned. Okay, now let's uh, let's continue the play uh, playthrough over here. So Ultima Grad is growing nicely. If we ever look at our stats, we're up at about 30, 134,000. There's still a lot of people living with their parents, and we'll start moving them around. But maybe actually, one or, one of the things that we'll do is if we use um, more effectively use hostels uh, or or student accommodation, we can uh, make this move a little bit more automatically. So let's quickly do that. Let's um, pop into the game. Um, and say, where do we have um, 21 pluses living at home? We've got a few over here, which is a little weird because they should be able to move in over that way. So, um, and if I if I pop in there, they can. They're absolutely connected to all of these. So this is a little weird. They're probably already university educated, hmm, but why? Anyway. Um, I'm not going to worry about that too much. Let's move into some of the other spots where I know we don't have university accommodation um, close by. These numbers are relatively low. But what we could do, we've got university accommodation over here. And as you can see, look at this, right? These don't actually fill up because university accommodation is, uh, they're going into university accommodation. So if we do this, you can see it's approximately where these connections are, where people can get to the university accommodation. That is, they're, uh, they're just kind of teleporting out. So the way it works is once a child reaches, uh, finishes its schooling and needs to go to university, they'll move to a available university hall of residence and go to university primarily. And then once they finish their degree or they finish their education, they teleport to any vacant facility somewhere um, in our nation. Um, and so that's an effective way of allowing us to get areas where you don't have this situation. So what I thought I might do um, is put a few extra university accommodations um, around. So if I put, if I bulldoze like one of these buildings and I put, put, it, uh, put a university hall of residence in here, hopefully we can do a very similar thing over there. So let's quickly see how far can, because this is, and it has to be close to university, of course. So let's quickly see, have a look. How far can you walk from over here? So if we put another university hall of residence right over there, um, it should pick up all of these people. So let's go ahead and get that constructed. So modded residential components. No, 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 no. Where is it? Over here. And we've got the university hall of residence. So I'm going to go ahead and place one of them right in here. And that should be accessible to uh, whatever we wanted to, to do. So, so we're just going to go and put a few of these around. So let's pay for that. Um, so the construction, I think the construction crews can come along and do their thing here. They can come in and quickly build that one over there. So this should hopefully help us out. And I've, I've, I've kind of rethought, um, rethunk. I kind of um, rethought the way I do these kind of things. 
um, in the sense that I think what is a good idea, instead of doing clusters of halls of residences like I've done over here, just a, a sprinkling of them in between um, in between the residential areas is probably the better approach to doing it. So I think this is a university. Yes, that's a university. So, whoa, students waiting for professors, tons of them, huh? Okay, actually, maybe we should do an extra university out over here with a few extra halls of residence. These are halls of residence. So how far can these guys go? Not that far. So what I might do is um, do a sprinkling, a, another little sprinkling. So I'll just add another one over here. Like something like that. So we've got... Um, and I'll, I'll disconnect it for now. So we'll connect it to the, the other walking path that we've got there. So we'll do a little bit of that. Um, and then what I'll do is I'm just going to see about connecting this one up there. I'm kind of wondering whether it's worth our while doing a little something like this. Okay, there we go. So let's quickly pay for those two sections. Then we'll let the crews come and do the construction. Um, okay, now let's, uh, let's move our way back. Um, out of this menu and let's see about another university something smallish should be okay I don't want the mm, biggest kind of universities over here this kind of thing is probably about right so let's um, attempt to squeeze another one of them uh, somewhere like this let's do that we'll put a Lenin University right over there I think we're going to get another hall of residence over here as well Let's uh, squeeze another one in here. And the 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 uh, the big idea here is just to make sure that, um, that that we can move more people and we don't end up with so many um, over 21s kind of living living with their parents um, cons consistently. Okay, so what I'll like to do is probably tie connection straight through on this side. And what we'll do is we'll, we'll run it up here somewhere. So it's not the tidiest connection. Uh, I do apologize. And that's that's kind of, I'm hoping that that will, um, so how many, oh, that's actually the technical university over there. So hopefully this, this whole area will be um, more effective at training some people up. So I'm not going to do it absolutely everywhere, but a few little spots here and there is probably worth it um, to move uh, a few more people around. There's a university over there. Is there a university down here somewhere? I don't think. I don't think so. Okay, so let's, that's, that's okay for over here. I'm not going to spend tons of time with it. Um, what I've done in between episodes, I've actually moved um, these uh, um, high voltage power lines around so that they're not in front of the runway anymore. And I've actually fenced it off. Um, I've fenced off um, some of my airports and some of the other bits and pieces over, over every now and again. But that's uh, all pretty good. Okay. Now, I believe we have a university over here. Do we have halls of residence? Uh, actually not. A lot of power um, facilities over here, so let's um, let's get a sprinkling of them again. I'm gonna go with these these modded ones. I do like them the most because they don't kind of need a road connection. So on the one hand, I'll do see about squeezing one in over here, and maybe another. Oh yeah, absolutely. That that spot right there can make that work that's actually not bad i do like that little spot there i think that's that's pretty good let's uh, let's just stick with those two over there let's um connect them up i'm quite comfortable connect that one up there is a there's a direct connection over here and um, what i would like to do over here is a little something like this so we end up Threading the needle and tying it in over there, and I think that is about right. So we'll do something like this and something like that, and we'll go ahead and pay for all of these. So now the construction should start, and I'm hoping these two additional walls of residence will will help that out a little bit. Over here, we've got, I think a small, I think we've got a wall of residence over here with no people in it, um, but we probably need um, a little bit more coverage towards this side of the spectrum. And uh, where, I don't think we actually have a room to, to slot something in, to be honest. That's a school. I see one school over there. I think we don't have all the reasons. This area looks really good. I, uh, I'm a big fan of how this ended up turning out. Uh, but we definitely need to see if we can't get another hall of residence in here. Can we squeeze something? I'm kind of wondering. Let's, uh, let's see. I, I'm not sure we'll be able to uh, find a little spot that'll work for it over here. 
be honest. This area is really densely packed. So unless we get rid of a building, uh, which to be honest, might be a good idea. We'll get rid of that guy. So let's um, clear these out for a second. I'm going to move all of these guys over to our new area. All the way down here to Ultima Grad. Everybody, you're moving over to Ultima Grad. Um, I believe we should be able to um, filter them in. Oh, this area. Um, let's just um, squeeze some more workers in here. These workers are using uh, are, are in our factory areas. Okay, and then let's um, demolish that building now that we've moved all those people out. Uh, where was I? Up here somewhere. Yeah, 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 yeah. We'll find it. Uh, so that's the one. So as soon as that goes down, we'll start working on our university hall of residence over here. Now, we may have to uh, disconnect a few of these little paths just for the time being. Uh, well, at the very least, we'll get rid of some of these components and see if we can squeeze something. I'm not sure we will be able to. But let's see what we've got. Nah, 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 nah. It's not going to work. We'll need, um, we'll need a little bit more, a little bit more room here. So the this connection over here, I'll, I'll obviously re redo the connections. But let's, um, let's, um, let's quickly clear up that one. I think if we if we remove this one, we should have enough room over here. So let's um, quickly switch it in, and we may even be able to do like two of them. So let's do. Let's do one over here. Yeah, we'll do two of them. So let's do one over there. And if we remove that section also. And we'll we'll put back connections. We'll put connections back. Don't worry. If we do that, just get it as close as possible over here yeah 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 come on there we go we'll put two of them in there pretty tightly packed there and now let's get our road connection back in here there we go that's uh that's awesome so we'll get those connected we'll also get them connected on the other side no problem yeah so people can easily access them and then what we'll do over here is instead we'll we'll just run a path tightly packed over here and we'll reconnect that. And so now that should all work. I'm gonna pay for the for the paths, but everything else, wow, there's a bit of lag there. I'll pay for the paths, but everything else will be constructed by our teams. So there we go. So now hopefully those two halls of residence will feed that university and that should work quite nicely. We've got a university out over here with the hall of residence quite next to it and it is empty. Um, I believe it's just because we've we've not maintained that balance, but I think we do we do move people out a fair bit, but they for some reason so what happens is once once you've got this snowball effect already, they won't move out to their residence now because they're already educated. These guys are already educated, so there's nothing we can do. You need to get it not to get to this kind of situation. What is this? This is another university. So, and this is another hall of residence. So I've generally been able to now do it a little bit more appropriately, but we still got a few areas that might um, benefit from, from something. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna remove this one also and put a couple of halls of residence over there. So let's quickly move these guys over. I have paused the game. We'll move them over also, and then we'll Put another whole, couple of halls of residence over there and hopefully that um, that helps us out a fair bit so we've, i've started building some more um, more um, residential areas over here um, and some more residential areas over here and there's uh, still plenty of space down on this side of things we've we've got some halls of residence available um, so let's um do another slither of people they say actually that's pretty busy um, over there what we'll do is I, I wouldn't mind filling these up a little bit more yeah that should be good and now we'll start um, filling in over here a bit come on is that it okay well what I'm gonna do is now I'm gonna demolish that building um, and yeah so now we're actually starting to do some uh, um, 
urban renewal is basically what we're what we're doing over here. We're doing a bit of urban renewal um, for some very specific reasons, if I might add. Okay, so let's uh, get wait for the dust to clear. Um, we'll start disconnecting some of these, so we've got a bit of a room. Uh, even that one. So we've got a bit of uh, access point here that we may have, we can can reuse. So let's have a look at some of the other. Um, Walls of residence. That one's not going to fit. This one, wow, they are super duper sizable. Okay, so we're definitely not going to use that. So let's uh, let's grab just our good old modded one, uh, and we're only going to be able to. Will we be able to squeeze more than one? We might be able to. I think. I think yeah. If we do, we do one over here. And one over there. My goodness, look at that. That's actually going to look pretty nice. And one over there. And we can have a little path that runs all the way through here. So what we'll do is we'll have that path go through there and probably tie it in somewhere over there. That's awesome. And now we'll be able to connect into multiple directions. We'll get this guy to tie in. We'll get this guy and that guy to tie in we'll get this guy to tie in over here and there we go so now let's pay for all of that now we'll uh, get the construction crews to come in and do this uh, and hopefully that'll um, move things around a little bit we've got a couple of walls of residence over here um that's good okay now so let's um i think that's fine for now let's move some people uh, we do not have a university over here wow these are full really really full so these guys are all educated they are all educated, fully, fully educated. I do wonder do, whether we have issues at some point. They're all educated. Practically all of them are educated. That is spectacular. Anyway, let's, uh, let's empty out some of these buildings. So we've got two of them, right? Let's take the two of those and we'll move some people out over the other way. That's going to remote, um, well, help us out a little bit. Uh, yeah, the game is actually running. Look at that money we've got making. Yeah, we want to leave a little bit of room. Oh, these are new. I've, uh, I've recently built these two as well. Should get more people out to where we would want them to go. These are all full. Should be able to move a few people over here. Oh, there's still a bit of room over there. Excellent. So that one's done. We've emptied that one out. Let's try and empty out the other one as well. Best we can, at least. Excellent. Get a few more people out over here. That's good. We'll get a few more people to come in and live in some of these areas. Excellent. So now we've uh, emptied out a couple of buildings over there. So lots of people been moved here to Ultima Grad. This one here is a little awkward. It's, we've had the university halls there from day one. So really, that's a bit of an awkward one. I don't know why that's kind of happening. What's happening with our construction? Underway. Underway. Lots of construction underway. Um, I'm hoping we'll uh, we'll get these built pretty quickly. Uh, the other spot that I forgot to have a look at is over here. It says Bendigrad. Um, this, we should have university halls of residence available over here. Yeah, here we go. We've got a few of them. Oh, ac actually, there's a few people actually living in, in some of them. So this is working over here. So that's basically once you finish your basic education, you move to the hall of residence and you go to the university. That's basically... Um, what what ends up happening um, and so as long as people can reach it and that's what I'm trying to have a look at so yeah some of these spots are a little out of reach and so if we can improve our connectivity to some of these guys um, that might be quite useful so if I do something like this and we just make sure to run it through there and we just try and get a little bit better access is is what I'm after those halls of residence should um, we should be able to get a few more people in um, in there. Yeah, I'm not sure I can do much more than that. 
um, just the, at this minute. Uh, we could see about running around this way. If we could see about doing a little something like this. Flying that in over there. No, no connection possible over there. Anyway, we've done a little bit there to see if we can't make that work. Uh, any other... Yeah, we've got a few over there. We don't need any more, I would think. Um, these... Uh, actually... Are these working effectively? Are they empty? So does that mean we don't have any students? No, we've got... got students. We've got students, but we also don't have people living with their parents in this particular part of the world. Um, we're actually maintaining a pretty decent connection through here. So let's just have a look. So who can actually walk to you here? So there's a little bit that we wouldn't mind getting a few more connect connections going. Yeah, that connection through there needs to actually happen. Yeah, so if we run it around here... I believe that should help things out a little bit. At least make it so that these guys can now actually walk from all of those. So at least they now have access to halls of residence over here. Um, there's probably always going to be some that, we never, not, that we're not going to get to. But I think in general it's okay. Our money situation is really going strong. Okay, now the next thing I wanted to quickly have a look at is can we... Um, start work on the next section of our piping project and I think this one over here is probably a good one so let's get um, let's have a bit of a look at where we will go ahead and tie this guy in I think I've got a few um, open slots there's one open slot here I believe we can bring in another pipe um, into here probably need a few connection spots somewhere over here also can we, how far do they generally go? Uh, not that far. So we might just have to do it somewhere over here and then tie it in in that spot. It's getting a, a bit messy, to be honest. But let's, uh, let's start work by putting in a three into one underground pumping station. Somewhere over here, that will allow us to get that guy to connect up. What are my other options? Over there? It's not gonna actually make it there, is it? Maybe this spot right here is probably about is about right. Let's uh, let's do that. Let's get it in here. We'll get an extra connection going right over there. And now what we'll need to do is we will need to um, start looking at pumping stuff from where is it? Over here at the interchange. So um, I'm going to go go ahead and start it off like this with the three. Um... Why does it not want to connect? That's quite interesting. So I'm going to do a little something like this so that we can, in fact, bring other pipelines through here if we wanted to. Okay, so we'll do, go ahead and do that. Uh, we'll then straight away get this guy connected in through there. Underground piping as best we can. And what we'll do is we'll try and connect this guy up here. Let's try and buy there. We'll do a little bit of this. Pay for that component. Um, yeah, we'll probably get the guys to, to build it. We'll probably get the guys to build it. Now, let's uh, let's see what we're going to do with this. So, we need um, some modded piping facilities. Uh, actually, we need to do it um, the other way around so we can see how far we go. But how? Come on. Electrical problem somewhere. It's usually just a little glitch. Someone's not had a couple of workers for like three minutes or something, and then that kind of ends up being a problem. We should be able to tie in... Somewhere over here. Okay. Um, yeah, let's not let's not build it. Let's um, let's go with the modded um, pipe pipe thingy thingy. Uh, where is it? Pipe engine, and I'm after not this guy. I'm after the other one. 
Oh, actually, no, I am after this guy because we're heading into that general direction. Oh, that. I don't, I don't necessarily think that's the appropriate way. Um, and this one will be powered also. So I think that's, that's probably about right. So let's do this right over here. We'll get it a little bit of a road connection. Yeah, like so, it's gonna be fine. Probably don't need something like that. There's a little bit of overkill. Um, and now let's get our pipe connection going on. Uh, underground, please. Should be able, building in the way? Crying out loud, how? There we go. Oh, man. Oh, man. Crying that again. There we go. Nice. So that's now connected. I will go ahead and commission that. So we'll see about getting some construction going on over here. Now we need to run in. I'll run along that section of road over there, please. Where? How far can you go? Not very far, really. That's too long. Okay, well, let's do another one in here. Again, we'll go about doing it this way. Oh, and this will be powered also. Like, I'm liking, liking it, liking it. Um, let's uh, let's get a slightly different kind of road connection off of here. Something like that. It's a little bit removed from the uh, from the road. Now let's get our pipe going. I wouldn't mind just getting our next uh, connection done. Excellent. And go ahead and commission that. Okay, now, how far can we go around here? Up to about there. And I think that's going to be about right. Um, right over here somewhere. Modded. And I think now we're on the other one. No, again. And this one. This one it seems to be the one. Uh, what we'll need to bear in mind is we may need a little bit of um, power over here as well. So we'll have to see about that. I I'm hoping that's okay. Let's, uh, before we build the road connection, let's get the piping in place. I believe it'll work. Yeah, that's fine. That's good. We'll commission that. We'll get our road connection sorted, all sorted out. I hope. We'll make sure we connect on both sides because this uh, does the other benefit as well. This I don't think this is powered. We'll uh, I couldn't actually I could probably check anyway. Let's uh, let's get the, get the next road section or pipe section going. Up to about that spot there. So if we get the piping piece going, yeah, there's no power over here, so we'll need to do a little something for power. Uh, actually, this guy, well, we'll need to do that because I don't want those roads in there. Let's uh, do that one. Oh, yeah, actually, this is, uh, this is quite workable now. Doesn't quite stretch through to the other side, so what we'll do is we'll make use of this road over here. Doesn't... Doesn't want to, doesn't want to connect, does not want to connect. Is it because there's a road in the way? Would we have been able to connect through here? Yeah, it is because there's a road in the way, isn't there? But that is, I think it may just connect through here or it may not. But let's try it, let's try it nonetheless. Um, see if we can't maybe make it work. Um, give me the piping connection and see if that'll actually work. It does work. There we go. Get that one set up. Get this one set up. And we'll uh, not commission. We'll commission them. We won't pay for them. Now we're getting pretty close now. Absolutely. I think maybe one more. Maybe one more section. Let's quickly go in there. One more section over here. Yeah, these. This seems like the spot, doesn't it? Let's do that. I think that's the one. Uh, let's get our connections. Come on. Please, please, please work. Oh, beautiful. That connection works. 
That's awesome. This one should work as well. I think this is a little shorter. There we go. That one's working. Now, let's quickly finish off this one. Yeah, that's going to work as well. Um, let's commission all of that, please. Okay, and let's get out of the underground mode and get our little road sections built. Let's just get this little section of road built over here, please. Still need a few other sections of road. Let's do that. That one over there and this one through there. There we go. Now our road sections are built. Now we need a little bit of power. Um, so let's see about that. That one has power over here. So let's get a few bits and pieces of power. Uh, we could just use whatever we've got over here, but I'd rather we we maintain different um, sets of power over here. So let's um, let's do that. This tower actually is getting powered from this as well. So we'll we'll have to see whether we can do something else. Maybe maybe what we'll do is we'll just do uh, do one over here. We'll connect uh, we'll connect these two together. There we go. We'll do that. Okay, we'll grab a little service road type of thing, yeah. This was kind of what we're going to do. Run that through there and tie it in. Yes, there we go. So that's okay. We'll tie those together and we'll do that. Okay, guys, I'm going to leave it there. Slightly shorter episodes, but there we've got the extra phase of our... Um, of our pipeline and we've talked a few other things and we hopefully sorted out a little bit of our adults living at home situation if you've enjoyed it please hit that like button see you next time bye bye